everyone. So, uh, long weekend there's been, but she's running. We had a real panic earlier. We were just been sorting the wiring out for the boost control and we're testing uh, the boost sensor, which is over there. And uh, she was smoking so bad you couldn't see uh, the main house. So that was a bit of a worry, I've got to admit. Um, but um, yeah, it's looking okay. So our boost sensor, which was EGR, is back there. Um, we had a little vacuum kink, so we put a new line on that. We had some connector issues crimped them all up they're fine so this goes to the turbo boost can actual sort of um, mechanical actuator on the boost on the turbo sorry the boost maker that goes to vacuum that goes to ECU and then this is a boost line tee off to the mechanical gauge inside so we know what it's making and then it comes along here to the map sensor which is being wired into the loom into the ECU and the pins were changed for EGR to boost control and then obviously some very clever wizardry on the map which I have no idea so I won't even try and pretend I do. Test drive seems to be okay we're just at like a stock map at the moment as we're not you know we know some history about the engine and know no history about the turbo drive it for a little while make sure the temps are all okay because we had head gasket issues obviously make sure it's warming up cooling down blah 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 not chucking oil everywhere. Uh, weirdest thing with it though which will need fixing quite soon is the gear stick. So I know it's back to front at the moment, but you'll notice that basically in its neutral position it's now in fourth and like first and thirds, like you can be changing the temperature and punching the dash every time. So for some reason the throw has changed with the eco box. So I flipped this round because there's actually a kink here. Um, I turned it around 180 um, down there, down below, switched it around and doesn't seem to make any difference, but I can see why with the design, it sort of doesn't really. So I think the best way we can manage this is live with it for the week. We're going away for a couple of days for some volunteer work, so we'll sort that out. When I come back, because I'll be in the Diab slow for that, when we come back, I will switch this round again, and then I'll quick shift it and then put a bend in the in the tube down underneath here in the tunnel. And that's to solve that, because that, like first, I can barely reach it in my seating position. It's like all the way over there. So that's a bit weird. I can't. We can't see anything mechanically wrong. It's just a different box, and different box is wonderful. So at 70 miles an hour, it's just over 2,000 RPM. Um, 50 miles an hour, it's at like at 1,300 RPM. Um, 30 mile an hour and third, 1,500 RPM. So it's brilliant. So looking forward to getting this on the road properly, getting some boost in it. But we'll just drive it around for a bit. So um, I'll try and finish this video off with a pull. 30 to 70 or something once we've all mapped it so that'll be in a few months probably uh, but uh, anyway thanks for watching this is the red pinking uh, dry, daily driver of Mrs Piggy and the engine transplant's done so new gearbox new engine new turbo ready to roll mm -hmm.